Hello, Mario. Mario's Excel Stand Up Project Management Chart. Hello. Welcome to my video on the Excel Stand Up Project Management Chart. In this video, I'm going to produce a Stand Up Project Management Chart. Why, you might ask, is it a Stand Up Project Management Chart? Aha! That is the top secret piece of information. And the very reason for that is because you must stand up to view the chart. So let's um, let's uh, just have a look here and at an example chart here and see if we can just uh, get one available here. Here it is here, project management. Oops. It's coming up here soon. Here it is. All right. This is the chart here. Integrated Pathway Stand Up Project Management Chart. This chart must be viewed standing up. And the reason is that if you're standing up, as you can see down here, you are not asleep. So if you're standing up, you're not asleep. So the idea is that you always view this chart with your fellow team members when you're standing up to discuss it. So that's why I've called it the Stand Up Project Management Chart. This chart must be viewed standing up. So the idea is that you stand around. So when you're standing up, of course, you're not too reluctant, you know, to... You want to get in and get things done, and this is what it is. You want to get the decisions made and then go away and sit down and relax or go to sleep or whatever. So that's why I've called it the Stand Up Project Management Chart. If you're standing up, you're not asleep most of the time. If you are able to sleep standing up, well, you're a fairly unique sort of being and good on you, well done, and uh, just don't fall asleep while you're reading this chart. So let's, um, let's just go to full screen now. And um, this is the example chart here, which as you can see, I've produced in a, an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to um, show you how to do that. And then um, we'll, uh, yeah, see some of the little beauties of it. Essentially, um, it's based on a, a, a like a flip chart and these are supposed to be little or representative of little post-it notes so you can click on these little um, when it's got, click on these little notes here and move them about so you can move that one to there so you've got in here proposed um, so oh I think I'll, oh, we've got some resources we can do that we'll move that up and to do that's got to be done um, by Wednesday uh, Ian's doing that, so Ian comes, picks it up, puts it into uh, in, into um, the doing column, and then he work, work, works away on it, and then he completes it. Okay, he sort of it gets completed, and it possibly gets uh, signed off by the um, by the boss that it's all good and it's complete. It can only be completed when it's signed off. And uh, so it stays up there and everyone can see that it's done. We can uh, make some further notes about it. Um, perhaps reflect on it to see if we could have done it better or faster so that we can use that for when we're doing other things. So, and then eventually, uh, obviously we, we get in here, we can start to put things out of the way in over here that are off the chart, but um, that'll give us a, a bit of a history over here as to uh, you know the order that things were done so who's who's done what who's done the history um, we can have different colors for different people so it's just a very visual simple chart for keeping track of a project and how it's going who's doing what and you can make it whatever you want you can um, I've called it 
p.m. chart here. You can add new um, new sheets to your spreadsheet for whatever you want to record, but you can always come back to your chart as your project management. So let's make one. So what we're going to do now is file um, a file. I'll just go new file new and a, just a new totally new file. So there it is. There's a whole new one sheet one. Let's make sheet one the um, rename. We'll just call that the PM. I like chart. So oh, we'll keep it in caps. Caps lock chart. Right now, get a bit of a setup here. These charts are designed to hang on the wall, and um, I want them to be quite sizable. But most of our printers, most of the printers can do a um, an A3. Um, and we have got A2 printers, but A3 is probably the best, so we're going to go with that. So let's first of all just get a page layout going, and I'm going to have the margins uh, page layout here. Uh, let's go for the margins we'll just have a narrow margin there and orientation I'm going to go for landscape and the size I'm going to go for an A3 and that's pretty much it there now okay nothing's changed there at all has it so um, yeah okay um, oh one thing I would do is just to save this um, here, like it's at book three now. So I'm just going to call it file, save as. Um, I'll just browse to where I want to uh, save it. Um, I want to save it on my hard drive here. Um, my 128. Um, I'll probably work it in the integrated pathways, project management. Um, and I'm going to call this one um, PM chart. And I'm going to call it three. This is the third one I've done. Um, I actually have done, I did one as a trial, and then I did one as a video, but I didn't have the microphone on. So tip there for your players, make sure you've got your microphone turned on as I check and glance at my thing to make sure it's uh, pitching away there. So yes, I've got my big Yeti 3, um, Blue Yeti, um, turned on and going. So hopefully it's pumping out some good things. So there's not too much uh, looking in there at, at, at all. So, But what I'm going to do now is go into view. Here's view here. And I'm going to put it into uh, page layout. And that there then tells me, and I'm just going to reduce it down slightly so that I can get the A3. So there's me A3 there, all on um, all on one um, one in the view, and you can see there I've got centimeters. Pretty sure centimeters measured down here. So it's round about oh, it looks like 26 there, and across here approximately 45 or something something of that order. Okay, now. If we just go back to our example, you can see that we've got five columns. I've got five columns there. And if I just uh, check in here, format the column width, you can see the column width's about eight centimeters. Okay. So um, I'll just go, okay. So now coming back to the one that we're creating here. So let's just grab five, one, two. Oops, it's not, not working so well. One, two, three, four, five, and home, and go to format the column width, and I'm going to make it eight centimeters. Oh, that's all pretty awesome, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to drop down the second row here, because if you look at the example here, I've got this up here is what we call the header. And then in here, I've got a row where I've got those things put in there like that. So I'm going to have that row there. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to make this row here. Um, I'm going to format that row height, format row height, and I'm going to make it 
14 because I happen to know that 14 is the maximum that you can have and then I'm going to make this row here uh, format row height I'm going to make that row there about 10 um, possibly uh, we could make that um, I might just or oh, might get another centimeter out of that so format row height oh, 11 yeah, yeah and that'll give us a little row at the bottom there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these cells merge so that makes them one and then I'll just go um, for that one there control C and I'm just going to go here control V control V control V control V now I can call these here anything I like really I think I called this one proposed or we could keep it really simple just um, waiting uh, that's good uh, this one here is you know to do so that's sort of waiting um, to do so it's sort of a bit of a to do in this one here um, just doing in this one here complete completed now in the system usually nothing's completed until it's signed off um, I might rather than completed I might put in there signed off so that means that you know it's been signed off and then in here I'm going to put notes so this could be all sorts of little notes and things like that so that's that's all good there like that um, we don't actually want I might actually um, just uh, format format uh, row height mm, cancel um, bit hard there um, I might just add that one there into the uh, at this stage just uh, merge those cells as well and control C control V oops um, control V no it won't we've got to yeah and just merge those I probably Uh, no that didn't work cause so well um, let's zoom there and let's be control V oops no so I'll just select those two control C control V um, and in here Control C, ah, Control, Control V. No, it didn't, didn't work for some reason. It doesn't like that. Um, so I'll just merge those. There, merge the cells. Okay, so that's that all there. And um, I'm just going to just work in here. I'd like, I like, I wanted those to be in the middle and to be in the middle and I want them to be bold and I want them to be quite large because they're headings so there we go waiting to do signed like that and then what I'm going to do is around that there oh now what's happened here ah yes so um oh Yes, I've gone too big on this. Um, delete sheet rows. How's that? Oh, well, that didn't go too well. Um, 
So um, I'm just going to go format row height 12 and 10, uh, 14 and 10 is 24. I'm just going to make those both 12. Uh, and then I'm going to merge merge the cells okay and then I'm just going to go control C and then control C control C okay and control C and control V okay so that's them there like that that's a bit better and now I'm just going to go into here like this and um, I'm going to format format the cells and I'm just going to put a little um, border around them so none there there okay and that's uh, that's got the little lines all around it like that um, at this point we can actually oh I needed I've got to insert a row above there insert row so that sort of didn't come out there all right so now in here um, we've gonna write team um, oh I, I was doing it in caps wasn't it caps look team and colon in there and that's the team name and I'm just gonna uh, merge those two together merge those cells um, we want it to be in the middle and on the left like that and yeah and we want we're gonna change the height uh, format the row height let's just make it one okay and that'll our team and then in here uh, again um, we're going to type team members okay and that goes like that and again that there is going to be uh, merged into one merge the cells and we want it in the middle and to the left there now we're just going to go over here to the view uh, home view and we're just going to turn off the grid lines so that we can see that that will go there and then in here is our header okay now um, I just got to check here so um, I'm just going to go XYZ stand up project management chart so I'm going to go in here and it's the XYZ standard project management chart okay now that means for XYZ you can fill in um, whatever you like there okay and then I'm gonna just put one two three four five and then brackets caps lock this chart oh I have cap there must be viewed caps lock standing up okay and that's going to go there that's all going to go there um, we're just going to go home on that um, oh, design header and footer design so all right um, we want that to be maybe 20 and bold okay and yep that's that's pretty good how we want it i think that's the same as what we've got here this chart must be viewed standing up okay this chart must be viewed standing up and uh, yep and oh yep so if we have a longer name um so it'll be 
you know, whatever project, and then your team name comes in here, so you can put your team in there, and you can put your team members in there. Okay, so that should uh, should work okay. I think I've got that in there like that. Um, yep. Okay, so that's all good. All right, so there's our little chart. Or there. Oh, and then along the bottom, yes, we've got to put our slogan on the bottom. Standing up, you are not asleep. So we'll go in here. Standing up. You are not asleep. A S L E E P. Asleep, and that's going to be that one's going to be in the middle. That's going to be bold, and we'll make that twenty, possibly. Yeah. All right. Now, the next thing we've got to do is we've just got to create the little post-it notes. So we create a blank one. Okay, so we just go to insert and text box. And then that enables us to just to draw a little text box in there, like that. We can right click here on the on the text box. Right click here. And we can um, format the shape, size and properties. Okay there size and properties now i made mine that one's quite a big one i sort of went for a three by three three centimeters by three centimeters now that might be a bit small we could go for a four by four doesn't really matter that's a four by four Is that four by four there? Yeah, I thought three by three would enable me to get two side by side if I needed to. So that's three centimeters by three centimeters. And just leave the scaling how it is. I'm not quite sure on that. And yeah, so that's that there. Um, probably and then we can, um, if we want to, we can go for a color, uh, fill, and um, we can choose the color here. I always choose these colors along the bottom because they're the, the standard colors. So we can go for a red one, okay, like so. And then we can, we can um, before we do that, we need to select that. and copy and paste no um control v no didn't like it so you've got to work it out how it how it all works copy and paste oh, there we go and then we can grab that one and put that down there as a blank this one here we can um, put in, um, you know, uh, draw chart or whatever we want to write in there. We can use different colors for the writing to make it stand out. Draw, it's a text box, remember, so draw chart. We could say, who's going to make it, Morio. We can put maybe a date in there, uh, Wednesday, um, Wednesday, 7th of Feb. So we can put all sorts of notes that we want in there, and there it is. That's in there like that. Um, if we, that's just waiting to go. So, uh, all right, we're going to need that chart pretty smartly. So let's. Uh, put it in the to do okay if it really needs to be done now they, you can change these up to whatever you want um, and then okay we're going to get um, down here we might uh, we might want to um, you know complete uh, diary cover or something like that 
and that might be going to be done with um, by Jim and that needs doesn't need to be done till March say so whenever now so that we can make this easy oops um, so that we can make this a bit easier we might uh, use a different fill color in there so that Jim knows that his stuff's all purple my stuff's all red um, right and then we can uh, as I said earlier we can uh, collect in here and we can put it into the doing once it gets signed off by the by the boss man um, yep that's it done we could make some notes um, need to get onto this earlier next time or something like that um, there's some little tools up here that I should um, perhaps make you aware of and um, we'll just uh, maybe just for the illustrative purposes uh, copy um, control V so that's made a copy of that there um, and put them there like that so we can um, hold down the shift key we can select multiple ones of these here and then we can go to our format and the format here click on that and we can align we can align them uh, or distribute them horizontally or vertically distribute them vertically that's like that um, we can align them uh, on the left okay and um, there you go All nice and tidy them up and things like that so there are some tools around that we can we can use some people like to uh, um, have them sort of a bit willy-nilly so you can um, you can actually uh, have a bit of an angle on them and put them like that so they look like real little post-it stamps um, go up or down like that so yeah there's all sorts of things you can do with them and then as it's you know signed off and become sort of old news you can maybe um, put them put them out here uh, as in some sort of chronological order um, like that all right there you go oh doesn't want to add it doesn't want to go out there <laughs> never mind um you can it can be done by setting oh there we go and then um putting a page out there like that so that's where you could store them something like that now you might want to um just uh just print this out file print uh on the adobe pdf printer um i've got two pages there you might want to um, just print off one page or um, you can set the print area obviously uh, page layout um, so you can um, just uh, uh, like so um, print area set the print area okay and then file um, print and there you go it's all looking good so you can print that out, stick it up on the wall to discuss with your team. So when you stick it up on the wall, it must be viewed standing up. That's the that's the idea. That's why it's called X Y Z. And I'm going to have to fix that, aren't I? <laughs> Stand up, not standard. So I think that's spelling correct. Stand up. Caps lock. Stand up. Project management chart. Like that. This chart must be viewed standing up. Standing up. You are not asleep. So, there we go. Just coming up 30 minutes there. So you get the idea of the chart. How you can move it around. What you can do with it. Create the little post-it notes. And keep a good visual track of your good visual track of your project um, and uh, yeah use it you do need to um, need to work on and we'll be working on that a place to store the chart 
so that all the members of your team can work on it and move their post-it stamps around and also so that your your boss or your tutor can see what's going on and have a look and make comments and things like that so that's um, we're going to be working on that but generally there it is don't forget to save um, before you go so yep um, there it is the XYZ stand up project management chart the chart that must be viewed standing up so all good I hope this all chart will see you in good standing uh, for the rest of the project uh, cheers see you